looking to get his 2016 Paralympic dream back on track. Arnu Ferri has been struggling with a hamstring injury of late, but with two years to go to Rio, he's hopeful he can get back to full fitness sooner rather than later. Ferri, though, has endured far worse setbacks. At 18, and with a promising rugby career in front of him, he went on a boating trip. But his life would never be the same again. The propeller caught my foot. I, I fell from the kneeboard and the, the boat turned. They, they came to get me and the propeller caught my foot. So it was amputated in the water already. And um, yeah, it was obviously, I mean, tough times for anyone to, I think that was the biggest thing because I made such a rugby such a big thing in my life. And all of a sudden it was taken away. In a few split seconds, all of it was taken away. Free says even at the hospital, people began to tell him about the possibility that he could compete in Paralympic sport. But he admits he just wasn't mentally ready. I wasn't keen on competing in disabled sport. I didn't even want to hear the disabled uh, word being said around me. I wasn't I mean, keen to say that I'm actually disabled, that I've lost my leg. So I think that was a big thing to work through as well. Forward wind five years and Fari was on his way to the 2008 Beijing Paralympics. Although he failed to medal there, that would not be the case in London four years later, pipping countryman Oscar Pistorius to bronze in the 100 metres, although the two would unite to win gold in the relay. London was just a phenomenal game. The, the, the memories that we built and the moments that we shared in London, I think, will be a part of us for a very, very long time. Just a special game. Fari did not want to talk about Pistorius, given the huge interest in the double amputee's ongoing court case. The two were not just on the same team, they were roommates in London. Although Arnu has a number of goals to focus on, his main target, like most athletes, is on Rio in two years' time. And having won that bronze medal in the individual 100 metres, he hopes he can turn that into gold come Brazil. As an athlete, I mean, that's, that's the thing. That's the thing that you want to, to experience walking onto the podium in front of a huge crowd like that at the at Paralympic Games and singing your national anthem and, and, and getting that gold medal. Just thinking about it again, I want, to experience, I want to experience that again. It doesn't matter what it takes and how hard I need to work for this four years. I need to set out plans. I need to set th get things in place. Fari's dreams may have changed over the years. He may not have chosen the path he is on but he's determined it will have a further golden shine come Rio. Dan Williams, CCTV, Stellenbosch, South Africa.